Hello dear friends and welcome to Huglar Anime Cafe. I'm your host Huglar. Today I would like to present to your attention an emotional story about great master of katana martial arts, who teaches a boy from the slums how to become a skilled fighter by understanding the values of samurai. The story begins with a flashback of young Tenza, who was born in the slums. He tries to survive there, doing robbery and stealing. One day during a walk, Tenza encounters three arrogant samurai who offend him. A young thief starts a fight with them, but is stopped by Yamada Asaimon Shion. Asaimon is a samurai who is responsible for execution of criminals and testing new swords for the shogun. In the present, Yamada Asaimon Tenza and his assigned criminal Nurugai search for a suitable current to escape the island Chinsenke. After realizing that Nurugai is a woman, he tries to avoid dangerous monsters and therefore Nurugai wants to marry him even more. Tenza says that before thinking about marriage, they have to leave the island and be very cautious even if it takes longer. She admires his prudence, which will make him a good husband. Their conversation is interrupted by a woman who came out of nowhere. She speaks about many corpses of monsters in the forest and turns into a man, asking if they are behind it. Seeing this, Tenza and Nurugai decide to run away, but the man who is one of the Tenzin stops Tenza and inflicts severe blow to his body. Tenzin are beautiful beings with supernatural powers who completely master the five methods of immortality and control over the island. The Tenzin says that it's pointless to retreat and attacks Nurugai, but she manages to avoid the damage. He compliments the girl for fast reaction and is going to attack again, but Tenza slashes his eyes. However, the Tenzin regenerates himself and is ready to fight. Young Asaimon is quick enough to cut off his head and both hands. It gives them a chance to retreat, but this immortal creature catches up to them in the forest. However, they are saved by Shion, who beheads the chaser and tells them to run. Tenza informs Nurugai that Shion is his master, who taught him to use katana and despite blindness he uses sounds and smells in order to quickly orient himself. After escaping from the chase, Tenza introduces Shion and is reprimanded by his mentor because of his fast but sloppy movement during the previous fight. However, they are very happy to see each other again. Tenza wonders why his teacher didn't leave the island. Shion explains that after finding a suitable current, he had to retreat for seeking more allies because something he felt there could not be defeated on his own. Tenza wants to join his mentor, but Shion points his katana at Nurugai and asks why his student violates the orders of Yamada clan and protects his assigned criminal. He also adds that he had to execute his criminal Akaginu, who tried to seduce him. Tenza explains that Nuruga is innocent and deserves to have somebody who will take care of her, as much as kind master Shion took care of homeless scoundrel. The teacher is impressed by his students' words and puts his katana away, but warns them that her further violation of the rules will be punished accordingly. Tenza is very surprised because Shion could understand that Nuruga is a girl. His teacher makes a joke that he has a good eye for evaluating people. Nurugai feels safe and calls him a master, but Shion sees no need for this, because he didn't teach her anything. Experienced Asaimon warns both of them to be careful, because of a very strong monster who is still not defeated. But Tenza believes that they can run from him again. However, they are suddenly attacked by the Tenzin, who says it's not smart to underestimate her. Shion managed to save Tenza and Nurugai, but the Tenzin inflicted a serious wound to his throat, trying to take off his head. Jan Asaimon starts a fight with his enemy and cannot hit him even once since his opponent has already learned his attacks. The annoyed Tenzin is going to kill Tenza, who realizes that his injured teacher is not able to run now, therefore the monster should be eliminated. Tenza activates his ultimate ability, called Pounding Torrent, but the enemy dodges all his lightning blows and inflicts a terrible damage to Tenza's body. In his flashback, Tenza speaks to Shion in the dojo of Yamada clan. Young student wonders why his teacher took him from the slums. Shion responds that Tenza has a potential to become a great samurai, as well as Sekurabad becomes a beautiful flower. During their training, Tenza decides to quit, because he doesn't accept such strict lifestyle and doesn't see any potential in himself. But Shion has one condition. Tenza have to land one accurate blow on his teacher. However, Tenza doesn't care about it and goes away. 
While leaving the dojo, he is met by Asaemon Aizen, who invites him to have a walk. They go to the cemetery, where Aizen shows him a grave of Shion's former student, which name was Tessin. Aizen explains that this talented student was as stubborn as Denza and left his mentor. Shion didn't try to stop him and concentrated on improving his own skills. One day Shion had to execute a criminal, but understood that the convict was Tessin. With a heavy heart, he carried out the execution as Yamada Asaemon. From that day, Shion began to take more care of his students. After telling the story, Aizen wonders if Tenza is going to do what Shion asked for. In the next scene, Tenza asks his teacher to spar with him. Shion notices that his student seriously devoted himself to the trainings. Young man works hard to improve his skills and is grateful to Shion for teaching him. Tenza hopes that he will find somebody he wants to protect. In the present, Tenza realizes that he cannot survive his wounds and decides to sacrifice himself for saving Nurugai and Shion. He attacks the Tenzin with his bare hands and crushes his head. However, the monster laughs and hits his opponent with powerful energy coming from his palms. After severe injury, Tenza looks back trying to tell his friends to leave him behind. Nurugai wants to help him, but is stopped by Shion. He can't see his student, but feels what Tenza is unable to say because of damage throat. In despair, Shion grabs crying Nurugai and runs away. Tenza is happy to see them escaping. He punches the enemy very hard and slashes his legs, but he dies having a dream of his future, where he becomes a teacher in dojo and is married to Nurugai. Meanwhile, she blames Shion, but Asaemon explains that Tenza wasn't just a student, but brother to him, and saving them was his last wish. Shion promises to revenge at all costs. In the end of the story, young Tenza manages to hit Shion and asks his master to continue teaching him. Talented student found the best teacher. This video is based on the 8th episode, aka Student and Master, of a brand new supernatural anime, Hell's Paradise Jigokuraku. Release date April 1st, 2023. This dark fantasy anime is created by Studio Mappa and directed by Kaori Makita. If you are interested in previous episodes of this story, you will find them at the playlist in the end of the video. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe for videos like this. Please comment this video and share it with your friends. Thank you very much for watching.